were shocked about your new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, why there was not a singles woman match on the entire two-hour SmackDown, the second one of 2021, the weird pause of Big E and Apollo Crews in a gauntlet match that not only did not make sense, but had a shocking winner that, oh boy, if they do not do something about it, then the undercard, the Royal Rumble, might be the worst one in WWE history. Welcome to another episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling. We're reviewing last night's SmackDown, and we are starting right now. <laughs> Now, over the last couple of weeks, we have basically said that SmackDown is the better of the WWE's two flagship shows, Raw and SmackDown. But whoever wrote SmackDown this week must be taking some of the traits that Raw has and is now corrupting the SmackDown show. Because I'm going to start with number one. There was no women's match on the entire freaking show. There was promos. Sonya Deville is now apparently the assistant manager, which I thought was going to be Billy's case position because that's basically her whole freaking gimmick right now. But no, we're going to go with Sonya Deville. The person who should be winning the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah. What? Then Billy Kay apparently joined the Riot Squad, but didn't join the Riot Squad. Then Bailey and Bianca had, like, a bickering contest between, oh, I eliminated, people, I eliminated eight people in the Royal Rumble last year. And I'd be honored to face a champion like you, except, yeah, you lost your title. And Carmella is still going after Sasha, even though Sasha beat Carmella at TLC, so wouldn't it make sense for a new challenger to wrestle Sasha at the Royal Rumble? What the hell is going on here? What? But that is not all. That was the beginning. We start off with Roman basically saying, you know, I do my job, I love the roster, I'm a leader, I'm a great guy, I like Kevin. Adam Pierce is the reason that we had to destroy Kevin last week because Adam Pierce is the one that made that match against Jimmy Uso. About, not Jimmy, Jay. Against Jay Uso. So this is all Adam Pierce's fault. So now they're like, you know, teasing with him because he hasn't wrestled in a long time. And somehow this then leads to Adam Pierce getting into the gauntlet match. Take a pause on that. We're going to go back a second and we're going to go to Big E versus Apollo Crews for the Intercontinental Championship because this was a good match. Then we had a double, double pen and then Big E won. What was, see, what you, you could have had this rematch at the Rumble. You, you could have had Apollo win for a moment and have Big E just kill him. That's an option. There was no need for the pause. It was very stupid. Like, I, I did not understand the concept. And then it just went from bad to worse because the tag team match took place. It was Street Profits versus Rude and Ziggler. And the Street Profits lost. They lost. Why? Like, every time Rude and Ziggler have titles, it is a stupid run that they lose in about three weeks. What? What are you doing? And this episode is all over the place because that's what SmackDown was. It was all over the place. And then, it just gets worse. Because here was my thinking. The gauntlet match already takes about an hour. We see this usually when we're on the road to Elimination Chamber, right? Right. You have a two hour show. Which means that you have to fit two title matches in about an hour. Oh, the gauntlet match is only going to be a half an hour? Okay. What? First two entrants are Sami Zayn and Rey Mysterio. Sami Zayn loses in about 10 seconds. Good push, guys. Way to go. Then it's Rey Mysterio versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This is a pretty good matchup. Shinsuke gets the better hand. Baron Corbett then comes out and basically annihilates Shinsuke. They go back and forth for a little bit to then have Shinsuke win again. Then, probably the most interesting matchup between the entire Gauntlet match is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Daniel Bryan, two people who basically led the quarantine edition of SmackDown when it was at the PC when there were no fans. And this was a good back and forth, but Daniel Bryan lost clean. Clean! Oh my god! I was shocked! You're having the man who is one of the favorites to win the Royal Rumble match get beat clean. 
And they had a good, you know, shake off in the middle of the ring before Roman Reigns and everyone came out to be like, Dan Pierce's turn. But I'm shocked. I did not think Daniel Bryan was going to get pinned clean. I thought we were, you know, that Bryan was going to win. Have someone else win the Rumble. Have title take off Reigns. Not that I'm pointing out. It should be Rollins. It, but it should have been Rollins. Anyway. Now it Reigns and Jay. Dan Bryan left. And Paul, they beat up Shinsuke. Adam Pierce is scared to death. Kicks Adam right in the face. Adam Pierce is your new number one contender. What? So now there's many ways we could go with this. We could go forward with this match, which would be really bad. Or he could give it to Kevin Owens. He could give it to Seth Rollins. Not that he's going to do that. Oh, oh, why? Like, you should have just had Brian one. You could have had Nakamura one. You literally could have had Nakamura one. That would have been a great match. What are you doing? Who, like, can, I, can there be a report out of, like, who wrote SmackDown and, like, when they wrote SmackDown? I, I'm at a loss of words. I have no idea. I'm literally shooting this Friday night. It's, like... Uh, 40 minutes after SmackDown's and I'm still a little sore. Like, I don't know. It's three weeks till Mania and I can't even tell you who I want on the Royal Rumble. I don't know which way you want to go. Like, I'm just so confused. Like, I don't even know. But that is my wonderful SmackDown review. That is the second rant of the week. Way to go, WWE. You're gonna make me have a heart attack one day because you're basically killing me. Make sure to like this video, comment what you thought of SmackDown. You probably had a way better time than me watching it. Uh, make sure to subscribe, to subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and I will see you all on Tuesday for our Raw review. Hoping that Raw is better, even though they announced that you and Randy are going to wrestle for no apparent reason for the 18th million time. Hopefully Lexa gets involved in that, but I will see you guys next time on another episode of Kimmy Talk Wrestling. Bye, guys.